Welcome to the Kevin Dunn Show, and we are so excited that you've taken time out to join us. Have another very, very special guest with us today, a singer, songwriter, playwriter, choreographer. We have the assistant principal of the Grange High School, Mr. Kenneth Redding. How are you doing today, Mr. Redding? Doing well, doing great, well, sir. Great, great. Well. Mr. Redding organizes the uh, Black History event at LaGrange High School, and we are in the 16th year of this event. Uh, play, yes, sir. song, singing, dance, you name it, it's all in one. Uh, we're going to pause and take a quick commercial break and we're going to come right back and find out more about Mr. Redding and more about what has inspired him, what has motivated him to do this event for over 16 years. Do you want to reduce stubborn pockets of fat without surgery pain or downtime in just 20 minutes? iLipo uses advanced non-surgical laser technology to shrink fat cells, delivering immediate results in a safe, clinically proven 20-minute treatment. I've lost two inches in just 20 minutes. It's amazing. What I like most about the iLipo laser is that it's both safe and effective. iLipo is the only on-skin laser FDA cleared for fat reduction. Contact your aesthetic provider or premier OBGYN and ask for the iLipo. Visit your local iLipo provider back to Life Chiropractic Center on Lafayette Parkway in front of the mall in LaGrange. At Charter Bank, you get totally free checking with online statements. You betcha. Free mobile banking, free online banking, free online bill pay, free debit card, even a new account gift. Free. At Charter Bank, we're here to wow you. And totally free checking is just the beginning. Come see us or open online at charterbank.net. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Life in the country is a conscious choice. And with that choice comes hard work, attention to detail, and investing in the right tools to keep your home or farm at its best. So why choose anything but the very best zero turns on the market today? Xmark. Known for their durability, precision cut, and time-saving performance, Xmarks are the preferred brand of mowing equipment for the landscape professional and people like you who take pride in their lawn. For special pricing incentives, visit xmark.com or your local dealer. Welcome back to the Kevin Dunn Show. Uh, Kenneth Redding, uh, once again, we are so excited to, to have a singer, songwriter, playwriter, choreographer yes, in the studio. Right. <laughs> Where did you get all these gifts from that you have? Well... <laughs> I would have to say that they're probably nurtured by my parents. Uh, when I, as far back as I can remember, my parents gave concerts with all of my older brothers and sisters, and I was too young to sing with them, so I would just sit on the pew <laughs> and just cheer them on, you know. And I never thought that I'd ever be with them because that was, to me, that was like, well, that's grown up stuff, that's older brother stuff. And right. And uh, my dad was a part of it as well, but he went to another church. So it just basically started in church. My dad would have us to come to do concerts at his church. And my mom would put on concerts with the rest of my family at, our, at her church where I was. And it's just kind of nurtured from there. And when I got to be a teenager, uh, I was actually singing in a community choir. And we did a service at my home church mm -hmm. My pastor had never heard me and my brother sing, but we just kind of eased our way into the community choir and they, they were performing at my home church and he was like, well, those are some of my members up there. <laughs> and so it just started from singing. I didn't play piano. Um, when I got to college in every dormitory, there was a piano. Mm -hmm. So I just sat down and I began to hear what I would sing and I would transfer it to uh, piano. And I went from there to songwriting and started writing songs and just kind of built it from there and began to direct choirs and, mm -hmm. and begin to uh, just to nurture those gifts. But it all just stemmed from singing. And then um, when we started the Black History Program at LaGrange High, there was a, another young lady, Tanya Mitchell, who's mm -hmm. Tanya Cobb now. She would actually write the scripts and I would work with the music and then she left. 
So kind of out of necessity, I had to start uh, just dabbling in writing a little bit, and it's progressed from there. So it so. just didn't fall into your lap? No, you it just nurtured didn't fall. Yeah, I, 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 I nurtured <laughs> it and, and worked with it, and it's over a period of years, all these things have come to fruition. Great. Now, the Black History event at LaGrange High mm -hmm. School, phenomenal, phenomenal event. I've, I've seen it the last five or six years. Yeah, performed in it as well. Performed in it as well. <laughs> Where did this idea come from? How, wh wh where was the foundation laid for you to organize an event of this magnitude? Well, I guess the foundation was laid when probably the last couple of years I was at Heard County High School. Uh, I did a project on Harriet Tubman. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Daylight. Mm -hmm. And that kind of blossomed into a video that we were able to use as a fundraiser for some educational kinds of things. And when I got to LaGrange, I was already in the, in the mood to kind of do that. And principal at the time, Mickey McCoy, just asked that I would do something uh, in remembrance of Black History Month. And so I came up with the idea of having a, just a musical history. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did that first year. And it worked out very well. We didn't charge anything. We just did it for the student body. They were all afraid because, you know, <laughs> the year before they tried to do something that had kind of flopped. So we only had 20 brave souls. <laughs> right. And they stuck with me and we did it and it went very well. And it, we've been doing it ever since. That first year was 1999 that we did it. And uh, this is our 16th year. 16th year. Yes, sir. And wh where would the event take place this year? Uh, the event would take place at LaGrange High School. Uh, we've been there and sometimes we use new communities facility, but uh, this year we'll be at LaGrange High School. And, uh, and what are the dates? The dates will be uh, Friday, February 21st at 7 o'clock, Saturday, February 22nd at 7 o'clock. And we have a Sunday matinee show, which is uh, going to take place at 4 p.m. on Sunday, the uh, 23rd. Great. What has motivated you to do this event? for 15 years in going into your 16th year. What, that's incredible. Ooh, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a big question because it takes a lot of motivation. It's a very huge undertaking. Um, and I get my motivation sometimes from the students themselves, the ones that are, that, that are performing. And if I see that they are excited about it, then I could get into it. But then I also have my own motivation, which I think is the main driving force. I, I, I want to get better. You know, I want to be a better songwriter. I want to be better at writing plays. I want to uh, be a better director, you know. And so I have my own motivation to just try to uh, write better, to play better, uh, to organize a group better. So I'm, I'm constantly trying to say, well, can I do better? I, I did this last time. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake doing that. I want to. I want to make it a little better. So that's the motivation. And like I say, and the students. But but sometimes it has to be a personal thing because it's such a huge right. undertaking. It has to be some personal drive, a personal goal that I have, mm. or it'll just kind of fizzle out because it it, it takes a lot of energy to yes, do. Yes, yes, yeah. it does. Yeah. Now you're an administrator at LaGrange High, yes, assistant sir. principal. Mm -hmm. You start preparing for this event in October right to prepare for February yes what makes you want to spend time with kids after school for five months outside of your normal routine of every day what what makes you want to be with kids after school for five months well <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's a lot of things. Uh, like I say, my personal goal, I, I look at that night, and, and, and sometimes you have to look forward to February, you know, because you've got to create stuff. That's the most important thing, the most difficult thing. You've got to come up with something that you hadn't said before. You've got to come up with something, and, 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 and you've got to look ahead. And I try to put myself February, uh, this February 21st, okay, now, it's that night. You need to have something. So I can just kind of look ahead, and, and that's going to be re the reward for that show. So I just have to look ahead, because if you just look in the minute, you're going to, you're going to, it's kind of 
quell up, <laughs> you know. Right, right. And I, I enjoy working with young people. Uh, another reason, it's kind of like a stress releaser because I have a high pressure job, it's a lot to do, and if I can incorporate uh, those things into it, you know, uh, finish, finish a day and come in and do some music and come in on a Saturday and see the kids in a different light because uh, my work with them sometimes is, is, is more in a corrective role. So if I can do something where we're working together on something, it puts me in a, a different position than what I have to do every day. And I'm supporting them and leading them to a different type of goal and, 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 and it's just a different role for me. Mm -hmm. And it's a role that I relish because like some of the things that I have to do are, you know, are not really positive. They, they, you know, the outcome is positive, but, but those are some things that, that sometimes people say, well, it's the hard part of the job, you know, working with kids and disciplining kids. But this gives me a, a, another outlet that I can make a difference and, and, and change some lives and I think that that has happened, you know, just from some of the testimonies. I have text messages that a young lady <laughs> sent me, uh, and I might read it later. It's, okay. I locked it in, mm -hmm. and, and, and that's the reward. And you, you listening to that, you know, you, you'll be able to hear uh, why, you know, why I do it, you know. So what are some of your greatest challenges that you face year after year? I and mean, I know you face many, but what are, what are some of your, your biggest challenges? Whew. Uh, technical theater kinds of things, you know, because I'm not a classically trained theater person. Um, I go by my gut. I go by my heart. Let's, let's do it like this. Let's, I feel that, you know, and, 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 and I don't have a lot of knowledge, you know, book knowledge about theater and, and that kind of thing, but I've learned a lot from some of my colleagues there. And just technical things, sound types of things is, is, is always a challenge. Uh, but the greatest challenge is coming up with what to do. What to do. Yeah, coming up what to do and, and writing that uh, piece. And the music sometimes that comes with it. Some of the music is, is already out there, but I like to write you know, some of my music, at least a fourth to a third of it. I try to write uh, some music or arrange some things differently. And that can be very challenging because you got you preparing, and then you're trying to write. You're trying to write a song here. And sometimes you can't see how, it, how it's going to work out or what you want to write until you actually start, see how the script come together, see how the characters come together. So it's not the kind of thing that I can prepare in the summer, you know. So it's, you, you, the writing of it is, is, is very challenging. The song uh, writing is very challenging. That's incredible. Yeah. yeah. You've and, been and, doing this for so many years, and uh, it's... And people don't recognize probably the hard work that you actually put into it, especially on the night of the shows. Mr. Reddy, we're going to pause and take a uh, quick commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about the uh, benefits of this event and what it actually does for the community. Trailers, Jewelry and Pond, 504 Greenville Street, serving LaGrange for 42 years. Maximum Tax Professionals in West Point has an expert staff that will meet all your tax preparation needs. Maximum Tax Professionals would love to prepare your taxes. Their ultimate goal is to maximize your return with you receiving your refund, usually within seven days. They offer free estimates, W-2 Express, notary services, and all military self-employed and walk-ins are welcome. You can even earn cash on referrals. And don't forget to ask them about Audit Plus Protection. If you would like your return maximized, visit Maximum Tax Professionals in West Point. Pop's Party Place in LaGrange, with more than just inflatables on our soft floors, has the largest party space in the region. Of course, Pop's specialty is our giant party playroom, especially equipped for you and your child to make great birthday memories. School classes and teams celebrate with us too. Does your group need to raise money? Call about our spirit days. Now open weekdays for discounted parties and open play. The star in your family has a place at Pop's. Check out the new club room for teens and adults. Perfect for the Sweet 16, Turning 13, and the Big 4-0. Call for a tour today and find us on Facebook, Pops Party Place, where kids can be kids. 
Welcome back to the Kevin Dunn Show, where we have uh, Mr. Kenneth Redding, the organizer of the uh, Black History Play, where it's more than just a play, singing, songwriting. Uh, the organizer of the Black History event that's going to take place in late February. We're sitting here talking about the event. What are some of the benefits of this event? Well, I think it benefits, uh, promotes, promotes positive self-esteem among students. And uh, it's another outlet at our school, the Grange High School, we have a lot of extracurricular activities. So it's just another thing that students can, you know, just sink themselves into, gives them something to do. I think it promotes positive self-esteem. And also for some seniors, when they graduate, they are eligible for some scholarship money and we're able to uh, use that, the profit that we make to put it all into kind of like a scholarship fund that will help students to buy books, uh, computers, and and things like that. And we've been able to give away um, a well over $35,000 so 35, far. Yeah, yeah. We'd like to do more, but that's, that's what we've been able to do. So how are the scholarship recipients selected? Is there a criteria format? Well, uh, you have to be a senior. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's, uh, there's a slight academic requirement, about 3.0. You have to have participated in the Black History Program at least two years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we give away most of the time more than one. And you have to uh, have a positive effect on your community as well. So there is, is, it is a competitive kind of, kind of thing. Okay. Once again, and I know I keep talking about this, but you do singing, mm -hmm. songwriting, right. choreographer. How are students selected to participate in the event? How do you know who needs to sing? How do you know who needs to act? How do you know who needs to dance? How, how are students selected to? Well, first, anybody can sign up, mm -hmm. okay? And, 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 and uh, sometimes we have to place people in, in different areas. Uh, we start out with the choir because mm -hmm. music is, I, when I start out that, with that, it just kind of gets me going. Okay. And it jump starts <laughs> all the other creativity. So we, we start out with that because everything kind of flows from that. So once we get that going, um, we have a, like a choir audition, the kids come up and sing, and mostly they, they're all there. Sometimes I may have to move a person to drama, from singing to drama and that kind of thing. Then we have drama auditions. They come out and they read for a part, and then we decide you know, whether, who, you know, who gets that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there are solo auditions, and we have those that, that are going on right now, and kids could decide, anybody, if I, want, if I feel like I can sing a solo and that kind of thing, and, and we, we allow them to do that. So. A lot of it is auditions, but if a person cannot lead a song, you know, they can sing in the choir. Sometimes people cannot sing, but they can act. So we do that, and we also have uh, the step teams that mm -hmm. are a part of it that mm -hmm. they can be involved in as well. And then if none of that works out, they can work with the props because that is a, a, a huge part of it as well. So some of it's audition and, 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 and um, when you get the choir, like I say, we can use most of them because, you know, there's a lot of talented people there, but anybody can be a part, and uh, that's great. the way it works. Great. Yeah. Okay, 15 years, mm -hmm. you've seen a lot. Yes. All of the events have been great. Mm -hmm. Are there two years that stick out more than any other years? Two years where you say, well, okay, we nailed it this year, or... Uh, is there two years that just stick out to you? Oh, wow. That's going to be hard because I'm going to make some people would, mad. Because somebody said, well, what about that year we did that? That was pretty good. <laughs> but, uh, wow, so many of them uh, stick out. But I, I would say um, 2006, we did uh, Tripping Through Time. And um, I think that might have been the first time that I wrote a theme song to go along with it was Tripping Through Time. That one sticks out. Uh, it was just very efficient. Uh, the sound came together and I was kind of pushing myself a little bit too hard and, 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 and I remember that Friday night show, I, I was not feeling very well. I mm -hmm. couldn't, I think I was dehydrated mm -hmm. and I just couldn't feel my extremities and, and I called all the kids together and I told them, I said, I, I was going to tell them that I didn't know if I was going to be able to do the show. Wow. And, and I sat there, and they came all over to me. And when they came to me, I just felt it, it was just a strength that I, that I felt. 
And I stood up, and when I got on my feet, just the energy that I pulled from them, I, I knew I was ready to go. So that, that was, it was, that was 2006. 2006. One of the most powerful things that ever happened. And since that time, I've been trying to make sure I drink a lot of <laughs> fluid and Gatorade and, and that kind of thing. That may have uh, been very scary to do all of that work and, and not been able to fall through. Right, <laughs> right, right. And I don't know how we would have done it, but, 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 but I was able to get the strength. Another one was uh, 2011, uh, Preserving Our Legacy. It, it stuck out probably more than the rest because that one uh, was the show where it was all original music. You know, every every song was original. I wrote 95% uh, of it. My son wrote some things with me. My daughter wrote a piece. Uh, and uh, all original music and, and original script, everything. And so that was the first time that we did that. It was a, a completely true musical. And, and that one sticks out. And last year, 2013, mm -hmm. uh, Freedom Under Fire, I, I, I think I've been told that that was probably one of the most powerful. But, but those, those, those are three that I think, and that was probably the toughest because I, I don't know, it was just a struggle, a struggle to, 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 mm -hmm. to, to get, it, mm -hmm. uh, get it out there, but I think that it worked really well. That's great, that's great. What can we expect for this year's event? Or, or is it a secret? Can you? Well, can, yeah, I can tell you. You can tell me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm a history teacher, you know, and I supervise the social studies department. So history, I, I can look at documentaries, you know, all day, all night long. Um, and so 50 years ago, whereabouts, it was 1963. You know, we, we, we actually, it's going to be 2014, but the events that happened, were probably closer to 2014 than they were 2013. So I, I decided to wait until the 50th anniversary of a lot of things. Uh, 1963, you had uh, the March on Washington. 1963, you had the death of uh, uh, President Kennedy. 1963, you had the uh, death of uh, the four girls in Birmingham. And uh, we're going to talk about Birmingham a little bit. There was a children's campaign that started uh, in May of, of of 1963. And we're going to highlight the campaign up until the, the Birmingham bombing and talk about the impact that children had on history and their voice was heard all the way in Washington, D.C. It's a very unprecedented campaign to use young people mm -hmm. on the firing line and, and those events really changed uh, the world at that particular time and they changed policy and, and we're going to talk about that and try our best to, to highlight that. And you know, there's, there are a lot of things that people talk about young people and what they're doing now. And, and, and I, it's just been on my heart to really show that young people can really make a difference mm -hmm. and, and, and really change uh, the course of history, which is what those young people did. You know? So Birmingham, 1963 is, is what we'll talk about. Mr. Ray, what, what is your legacy? Uh, my legacy, um, I would say it's a legacy of service. Um, with this program, I, 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 I would like to say, if specifically with this program, I would like for people to say, you know, through that I was able to laugh, through that I was able to reflect, through that I was able to cry, I was able to, um, feel pride about where I came from, that it's, 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 there are a lot of negative things that may have happened, but it's, and ultimately it's a positive story. You know, it's a story of uh, perseverance, it's, it's a story of overcoming, and I would like for people to say through that event, you know, we were made better, we were made to feel better, we were made to reflect, we were made to feel proud of, of, of uh, where we came from, you know. And that's just anybody that watches it. You know? Exactly. Yes. Now, Mr. Redding, when your season is up for organizing this event, what would you like to see continue on? What would you like to see going forth when it's time for you to stop? I would like for 
I would like for a I would like for somebody to carry it on. I would like for somebody to take it to a different level. Uh, I would like to see uh, you know a scholarship continue. I would like to have uh, one of my goals is that we would get a huge donor mm. you know to donate and that's one thing that I want to do before I let it go to have a huge donor and to have the scholarship fund uh, increased, increased a lot so okay we're just about out of time want you to tell the people dates times and location one more time okay uh, the dates it's going to be at LaGrange High School Auditorium uh, February 21st, it's Friday, 22nd, which is a Saturday, and 23rd, which is a Sunday. Uh, the 21st is at 7 o'clock, uh, 22nd is at 7 o'clock, and the 23rd, that Sunday, will be at 4 o'clock p.m. Uh, the cost will be $7 in advance um, and $10 at the door. The Sunday matinee show mm -hmm. is going to be $7 you know, at the door at and the in door. advance. advance. So. Okay. They could pick up tickets at LaGrange High School. They're probably going to go on sale here uh, maybe the 1st of February. And you can pick them up at LaGrange High School or you can call, call the high school or a student that's in the program, you know, can give a ticket. Okay. Well, Ms. Redden, thank you so much for taking time out to be a guest on the Kevin Dunn Show. And this is definitely an event that you do not want to miss. A great event. Uh, it's a win for the whole community. And once again, if there's a topic that you would like to see discussed on The Kevin Dunn Show, email us at thekevindunnshow at wjcntv.com. Thank you for joining us.